How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. A brand new week in Forza Horizon 4 and we have another upload today talking about how you can get the new exclusive car, the Koenigsegg CCX 2006. Now very quickly before we get into this, I'd like to say that I'm tempted to start, well not mass uploading on this channel, but uploading lots and lots of videos whether that's showcasing each exclusive car whether that's doing irl stuff but do let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see lots of forza related uploads and lots of just random stuff on the channel in general the reason i've hesitated to do this in the past is because the uq algorithm is a bit all over the place but if you smash this like button enough on today's video we're going to do some mass uploads but anyway this week for the next seven days we have access to the brand new well brand new to the game koenigsegg ccx we don't get many Kings eggs added to the game, so this is quite a cool addition. It can be upgraded to 1,300 horsepower. It has quite a nice sound, to be honest. The supercharger sounds very nice, and it's definitely a car that you should get while you can, because after this week, it won't be available until the far future, that's for sure. Now, as usual, you unlock this car when you get this season, or this week's season, to 50% completion, which is winter the worst one there is. Now in today's video I'm going to show you the quickest way that you can get to 50% having to do the least amount of races as possible and the least time as possible. Now they have actually changed the percentages a bit this week so you will need to follow this tutorial properly if you want to get exactly 50% as quick as possible. It's actually a lot harder to get 50% quicker this week so here is what I recommend you do. Obviously go to your festival playlist and you'll have a bunch of different challenges and stuff to do and you need to get to 50%. The first thing I recommend you do is do, as usual, the weekly challenge. Now the weekly challenge this week only gives you 13%. But here is how you do the weekly challenge this week. First of all, you need to own the brand new Ford Raptor, which you can buy in the auto show for about 58,000 credits, I think it is. Now, before we get into the other three challenges, I put a 1,300 horsepower tune on the Ford Raptor, just so it's a lot faster. I recommend you do this as well. You can see where I did it on screen right now. I recommend you do this. Then the second challenge is to do 10 crash landing skills. These took couple of minutes at the most down at the train yard basically you have to go up loads of jumps and kind of land on a wreckage land on a fence maybe and you'll get crash landing skills you need to get 10 of those you don't have to bank them as long as you get the skill you'll be fine i did these down at the train yard as you can see then the third challenge is to do one barrel roll again i don't think you even need to land the barrel roll as long as you do one you'll get the challenge i did this at the airport as you can see just did a barrel roll in the sky and then i won and then the fourth challenge, which sounds like a hard one, is to complete and win five events. Now, this sounds pretty time consuming, but it says right at the end in small letters, drag races. So just do five drag races. What I did, five drag races at the airstrip. I think I did the half mile one. Made sure I put it against other kind of four befores and you can very easily win. So just do that five times, takes about five, six minutes. And that's it. After no more than 10 minutes, you've completed the weekly challenge and you are 13% towards the 50. And then I recommend you do all of these seasonal PR stunts. These are also very easy and you get a lot of percentage. The first one is a danger zone down near the kind of the stunt part, kind of dirty thing. You can see it on the map now. I did this in the Porsche Rally, which has about 1400 horsepower, but anything that's got a lot of horsepower and very off-roady, maybe a bit light as well, you can do this very easily with. You may need to rewind a few times. It took me quite a few rewinds, to be honest, just to get through the tunnel. But once you're through the tunnel, you can easily smash the, um, the meters you need, which I think is 218, and that is another 6%, so that will get you up to 19%. And then the second PR stunt is a speed zone, which is also off-road. I also did this in the Porsche Rally. You can see where it is on the map. I did this one first try, only just, but first try. So this one's actually very easy, especially in the Porsche Rally. This will give you another 6%. So after only a couple more minutes, you should now be up to 25% completed already halfway the last one is a speed trap which is in the middle of the map on a very long straight i think you need 235 miles an hour which i actually nearly did in the porsche rally as well but i failed so i just jumped in the ferrari fxx evo you can do this in any fast car you'll very easily get 235 miles an hour on this straight that will get you another six percent right now you should be at 31 percent complete after 20 minutes, something like that, and you're already miles past halfway. Now, it's also worth mentioning, as we all know, the Top Gear story 
counts towards the festival playlist as well. Now, if you did the Top Gear story before winter arrived, you'll actually already be a percentage towards the new Koenigsegg. This video is for people who haven't touched the Top Gear story at all. If you have touched it a bit and done a few other challenges, bonus. This will complete sooner than you think. So if you haven't done any of the Top Gear story yet, you will be at 31% by now. The next thing I recommend you do is the monthly rivals challenge, as you can see here. This is done in one of the new Mercedes Top Gear cars, I think. All you have to do is complete one lap clean. So don't crash into any walls or crash into any trees. You can do barriers and stuff like that. But as long as it's a clean lap, just do one, one lap, exit out of it, and that'll get you an extra 5%. And then you are at 36% completed towards the 50. Now, if you've completed the Top Gear story by now, you are probably already over 50%. But if you haven't touched the Top Gear story, then this is what you'll have to do from now on to get up to 50 because it actually takes quite a while to get the percentage up using the Top Gear challenges. I think you get like 1% per story, so it takes ages. But I would recommend you do the S1 all-wheel drive championship. It's this one right here. You get a you get a car for winning it, but I ignored that. It's in S1 cars and it's all-wheel drive cars as well. It consists of three events. You have to do it on highly skilled or higher. It's honestly not that hard at all. I did it in a Ferrari F430 upgraded, I think. And once you complete this championship, which is three races, but not very long to be honest, this gives you 7%, not 6%, 7%. For some very weird reason. This will get you up to 43% if you haven't touched the Top Gear challenges. Now if you've done six or more of the chapters for the Top Gear thing you'll now be over 50 and you can skip to the end of the video to see the Koenigsegg customised. However if you're still under 50 we've got one more championship you have to do and that is an A-class championship in Fords. Which I did it in the Ford Focus RS as you can see. It's this championship right here. This is also three events. This one takes a little bit longer because it's only A class, but it's not too bad. Just complete all three of these events on the highly skilled difficulty. Complete this championship and this will only give you 6%, not 7, 6. It's very weird percentages this week. Very weird. Now this will get you up to 49% complete. You will be 1% away from completing the 50% completion you need for the Koenigsegg. Now to get that last 1%, you can either do the daily challenge, which gives you, which have to do thread the needle challenges, which as you can see on screen is just kind of threading through cars that are going each way and you'll get three thread the needles. Or as I said, you can do a Top Gear challenge. Each Top Gear story, I think, I might be wrong, gives you 1%, so you'll only have to do one of those. However, the Top Gear Story Challenge has been out for, I think, two weeks now. So if you're one of the people that has already completed it, then you should have, I don't know, lots of percentage towards winter already. So you wouldn't have had to do many of the things on today's list. Do the weekly challenge, do the, PR, do the PR stunts and the monthly rivals, and you may already be there. But if you haven't touched the Top Gear Story, as I said, once you do all of those, the two championships, and then the daily challenge, it will be literally bang on, 50% complete. I'm on 51 because I've done one of the top gear challenges, but it'll be bang on 50. And then when you go to the festival playlist, it will show you everything and you have unlocked the brand new Koenigsegg CCX. Now, in my opinion, I quite like these old style Koenigseggs because they seem very raw. I mean, all the Koenigseggs seem quite raw and beastly anyway. But um, as I said, if you fully upgrade this, you'll get about 1,300 horsepower out of it. I think just under that. And it handles pretty well, sounds awesome, and it's got a nice top speed. You can see a little bit of gameplay of it on screen right now. It's an awesome car, and I recommend getting this while you can. Now, another note that I'll say, for next week, we're going to get even more exclusive cars as well. I recommend doing all the Top Gear Story challenges right now if you haven't already. Because if you complete them now, when you go to the next challenges next week, you'll already be a percentage of the way to the 50. I'm going to leave you with a minute or so of gameplay for Koenigsegg now if it interests you. Other than that, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.